Here we go, 2022 Bowman's Best Baseball, case break number five. Uh, everything ships. And here's another thing too, and I got fees, don't get me wrong. I got credit card processing fees just like any other business that runs online. I got a website to ma maintain. You know, there's fees, but getting hit with a pretty hefty fee that whatnot, which I'm sure they discount it for some of the bigger people on there, but nonetheless, people got a factor in that, so you're paying extra. I forget what it was whenever I was like researching it more when be, like right before we made an attempt to uh, try it out and see what it was all what all the hype was about and it was definitely hype uh, it was like a box that I would sell normally to you guys at like 500 they were selling on there for 650 and I was like oh my god that's whenever I was like dude I need to get on here and then I realized the fees and everything I was like oh okay Pretty crazy. Bowman's best case break number five. Everything ships, my friends. Everything ships. I did it I think it was like 8% which kills you if you want to be competitive that's why they got to do all that weird packs card shuffling and random teams with the packs buy two you get a respin all oh, what the hell even is that That's crazy. But it's a convenience thing. It's easy to hop on there and your payment information's all saved in there and What's going on with alt? They can't they can't give people withdrawals or what's going on? I heard some other stuff about alt with their like uh, valuing, price valuing, some stuff going on with that right now. A lot of people talking about it, but I didn't see nothing about uh, not being able to. stopped ACH withdrawals wow well wow. uh, alt looked like a company that uh, was potentially fraudulent uh, from the get-go if I'm being honest alt was not never to me was never appealing uh, and definitely yeah definitely seems suspect from the beginning and it's looking very very suspect as time goes on blue Parada for the Mets to 150 let's go Eric with the Mets. That's a good one. Blue. How's the whole Fanatics card breaking? Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of information to, to, to go off of and talk about right now, but essentially they are making their own live selling platform, such as a whatnot. So whatnot sports card side probably is going to tear off pretty bad here pretty soon whenever they have that up and running now they sell other stuff other than the sports cards on whatnot so i'm sure that'll be doing just fine but abrams to 75 for the nationals but the sports card side apparently uh whatnot's going to be doing or uh fanatics is going to be doing their own live selling platform so we'll 
we'll see how that goes. Gilbert, but that's pretty much all I know. Like, I don't know. All the details I'm trying to, every day, put a little work in to try to gather some intel on all how that's all work going about. Worried about SVB? What's SVB? Mar Johnson. Pick two, choose one for 2K, and they get 110. Yeah. I don't even know how you understand half the shit. It's like, all right, pick two. Like, honestly, I tried to watch one, and it was, yeah, I was like, okay, uh, random team, $65, over 100. You get a wheel spin on the wheel spin. You could re, re you could re wheel spin. You can, I was like, I don't, I couldn't even follow what was going on. It's like, what are you even bidding on? Base autograph. Come on, show us a super. Seriously. We deserve it. We deserve more. My stomach is growling like crazy. We had red lobster. It wasn't, this wasn't my best red lobster trip. They, they were, it's lobster fest, but I, you know, they, I've had, I've had a lot better. It's red lobster though, so it's not, you know, I'm out here in PA, you know, we're not by, we're not by the ocean here, you know, so you got to take what you can get. Red lobster is the best that we got within the 20 minute radius or so minimum probably longer but it wasn't very good it wasn't very good got the ultimate feast swap out the the waltz shrimp for the coconut shrimp got to get the coconut shrimp coconut shrimp is awesome get that crab there is Uh, no more Bowman's best for this week. No more today or tomorrow. Uh, I do have more to break for next week, but no more today. And then we got a bunch of other stuff out on the website. I didn't want to add more fuel to the fire. I'm sure we could get one filled up potentially today, certainly for tomorrow, but try to break what we got out there. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that great. I've, I've had some pretty good experiences at Red Lobster, but this one, yeah, it just wasn't that great. The service was great, but the food was subpar. And my wife got the ultimate feast and she gave me her lobster tail right on and i ate hers it was great and then i go to eat mine a couple minutes later and it was like it was like disgusting it was like all mushy like it literally took one bite it all just like mushed in my mouth like it was terrible and i literally spit it out and i was like okay well i'm glad you gave me yours because if i just got one and you didn't give me yours i would have been very mad but it was pretty bad i ate my coconut I, shrimp and I just shut up about it and ate my coconut shrimp. Lobster? Yeah, it's not that great. I wouldn't suggest it, but I'm struggling over here, man. I'm a man that loves seafood and, you know, just don't get a whole lot of fresh seafood around these parts. I take what I can get. I go crazy at, uh, any t whenever we go on vacation, because of being in a you know a landlocked state, you know, uh, and always being a fan of seafood, but again, just well, one growing up poor, you know, got money for seafood. But anytime we go on vacation, it's like the only thing I will eat is seafood. Like whatever we go, like you know, we eat pizza or a sandwich for lunch at the beach, you know, aside from that. But if we're going out for dinner or whatever, going somewhere for lunch, I'm getting something with seafood. I think we went someplace like even like a Mexican place at one point kids like Mexican so it makes it easy but I ended up getting like a shrimp burger there or something and it was great but I'm getting seafood the whole time the one time uh, it was suggested to go to barbecue I ain't going to barbecue seafood uh 
my boys, they like shrimp. Uh, they like shrimp and uh, they typically like crab. We try to give them some of our crab to today and they and they and they said that they didn't like it but this is one of those days but they eat crab whenever we're on vacation they eat crab they eat f we get them fish with you know tartar sauce uh so they like seafood you know you know go they don't touch the lobster or anything but aside from maybe a couple shrimps and a little bit of crab they'll you know the, the basic stuff but they do eat they, they eat pretty good artiga they are picky here and there you know, and they got the whole, you know, Americanized palette with the cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets and french fries and all that. You know, they, they'd eat that every day if they could. But my boys are pretty good. We make sure whenever they were pretty young, we, uh, ooh, Cleveland, John G. What's up, John? Haven't seen John G in a minute. John, let's go, boy. 10 out of 25 on the Atomic. These Atomics out of 25 are sick. I love these. Uh, but we, whenever my, my wife breastfed them and then whenever they were like, we started very early because we didn't want to have problems with food. We've seen it just too many times, the problems with food. James Wood to 50. So we started on pretty young eating um, pretty much what we ate. Like whatever we ate, they ate for the most part at like six months. Now, obviously, it was mostly milk that they were consuming. But, you know, they'd play in the food. It's noodles or spaghetti, eat a little bit, that sort of deal. And it set us up for success. Gutierrez for the Texas. So now my kids, they love fruit. They'll eat all kinds of fruit, all kinds of vegetables. Uh, they all, all that kind of stuff. Salad. So, very happy about that with them. Gavin Sheets, to two ninety nine. I mean, there is st some stuff that, that they don't like. You know, so there's certain things that maybe me and my wife want to eat for dinner that she'll make, and maybe she'll make them something different. Um, but we don't make. That's not typical. You know, it does happen from time to time with kids. You know, it is what it is. Maybe they don't like lasagna or something. You know, you know that going in. So maybe make them some chicken nuggets. But Mendez base autograph. But we don't. We try not to do that. Two fifty. Key Brian Hayes purple. All right. Let me see what people were saying here. Uh, just order lobster overnight delivery from Maine. I do that from time to time. Uh, how do you do that, Spence? On what site? Josh, oh my gosh, Josh, you are going to hell. There's a bunch of them. I have to check it out. I have to check that out. Uh, there is a place, me and my wife, I'll have to get back to you guys on it next week, but there's a place that we heard about not too long ago um, that's not that far of a drive from our house, farther than Red Lobster, but not that far. And it's apparently a, a good seafood place. And I'm a little bit skeptical here in Pennsylvania. A good seafood place or like, but apparently they do these big, huge, you know, big, huge platters of all kinds of stuff. And it looks good on the pictures, but either way, me and my wife are going to try it sometime next week, probably Tuesday or Monday or something. And we'll, we'll put it to the test, see if it's better than Red Lobster or not. If it's worse than Red Lobster, that'll be pretty bad. Philly? I have no clue. I've never been to Philly. Philly's really, really, really far away from me. It's clear across the state. Philly's like five hours away from me. It's like really... Philly's actually pretty far. Between Philly and Pittsburgh, it's... Pretty hefty. So I've never even been to that side of the state before. I can get to so many other states so fast in comparison to driving all the way to Philly. Ohio, West Virginia is like so fast. I do want to go to Philly. I need to get 
I need to get me a real Philly cheesesteak. I want to be eating a Philly cheesesteak in Philly with the cheese whiz. Lobster grilled cheese. That sounds good. I like lobster macaroni and cheese. That sounds pretty good. Pat's way better than Gino's. Yeah, where am I going to go? Do I have, I got to try them both, right? We got to go to Pat's and Gino's. I will eventually do that. That is something I want to do. Delosandros is bomb. Is that in Philly, Eddie? Avoid both. Uh-oh. Where should I go? I know, but I have to do the iconic one. If I've never been to Philly and I never did an authentic Philly cheesesteak, don't I have to go to those two? Regardless of if there is a better one somewhere else down the block. Okay, well, I got. I guess we got a couple people saying. Okay, Mercedes. I'll put that one on the list. We'll do. We got the trifecta. Oh geez, Rainin. Yeah, it's it's pretty far. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's very far. We do not. It's it's yeah, it's really really far. So Winsky for Pittsburgh, and it's like nothing. It's just like straight shot, nothing. Just get Maine Lobster has sale for four lobsters delivered for one hundred and twenty seven dollars. Is that a good price or is that about average? What's the market price on freaking? Yeah, I was going to say, Brad, what are you talking about, Blue blue Oyster? Mesa base for the Blue Jays. We got a blue refractor of Beau Bichette to 150. Cows are atomic. Green, C.J. Abrams, the Nationals have been going off. Nationals all over the place in these. 20 out of 99, C.J. Abrams, green. Rookie autograph. I want to try a main lobster roll real bad too. That's something I want to do. Cowser. Key Brian Hayes, purple to 250. I haven't been able to do a whole lot of traveling. Grew up poor, started a business fairly young, had kids fairly young, married really young. So I haven't been able to really, really haven't traveled a whole, whole lot. So there's a lot of things I want to do. Definitely there's a, several spots on the East Coast that I want to hit up. One, uh, I forget what the name of it is. Somebody told me, but some Maine lobster rolls up in Maine. So one day, make my way up there, do a little, do a little East Coast road trip, hit up a couple spots. That's my goal, at least one of these years. Really, I haven't even noticed. Key Brian Hayes. Red Eats, the best lobster roll in Maine. Did a bunch. Red Eats, watch Food Network or YouTube. Okay, thanks, Eddie. If slash when Cousins Lobster Truck is in your area. I don't, I've never even heard of that. Cousins Lobster Truck? 
What is, what, what's, what's that? Dude, I can't even get the freaking ice cream truck to come around here, dude. You gotta see me. Uh, I, I'll hear the ice cream truck, truck, okay? So we live, we don't live like in town, but there's, there's people around us. And I'll hear that damn, I'll be out doing something, playing with the kids or something. I'll hear, I'll hear that damn ice cream truck going around. And I could hear it off in the distance, and I'll be yelling it, yelling it, ice cream, and I'll be like yelling my address, the street address, for him to come, ah, and never came. The one time, I quickly loaded up the kids, got them in the truck, went trying to find this ice cream truck, couldn't find it, could not find it. I need to find, figure out why this ice cream truck doesn't come on my street. starting to get mad i just thought about that that's been a goal of mine ever since we moved here i i hear that damn ice cream truck it never comes up here i try to scream i try to yell i try to stalk him and find where he's at and i've just i failed at all attempts oh austin i'm gonna have to watch that i i, I don't know exactly the jokes off the top of my head, but I I definitely remember some Jim Gaffigan. I might have to look that up. It's a truck that parks somewhere for a week or so, sells bomb. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta figure out this ice cream, honestly. We'll be outside, just playing outside, doing whatever in the hot. It's hot. Everybody's sweating. You hear that ice cream and it just, you hear that sound. But then he's nowhere to be found. The two ninety-nine Arnado Atomic Sweeney Base O'Neill Cruz Atomic Green Guerrero Green to ninety-nine Rockies. Fashe for Oakland to 99. Cavada Space Autograph, Boston Red Sox. Otani. Permanti Brothers. Uh, I like Permanti Brothers. My wife doesn't. Curtis Mead for the Rays. Montero to one ninety nine. But I will say this, and this is what I've heard from people around Pittsburgh. Now I don't live in Pittsburgh, but you know, pretty pretty close to just kind of call it Pittsburgh area. But uh, the Permanti Brothers in Pittsburgh, they always say you cannot go to one of these franchise. Permanti Brothers, you got to go to the actual original Permanti Brothers in Pittsburgh, and it's a different story. So that's what I've heard, just throwing that out there. But there is a Permanti Brothers franchise in the town that I live at, and I do go there periodically. I do like it there. They do some different deals. I like the sandwiches. I like the, uh, they, they, they do a, a nice bologna Pittsburgh sandwich. Very good. Uh, but my wife's not a fan of that type of stuff. Those sandwiches, all that kind of big sandwiches, with all kinds of meat and fries and cheese. She's not a big fan. So we don't get to go there that often, but periodically we'll make our way in there or me and Austin will order something for lunch. So I'm a fan. But I, I still I need to go to the real one in Pittsburgh though I haven't done that so I would imagine if I like 
the, the franchise one, it would be even better. All right, halfway through, four more boxes to go. We don't have anything already ready to go after this, so after this we'll have to plug in the orders, evaluate where we're at. Flawless Collegiate 21, I'm at first off the line 17. Don Russ is down to 15. I would say based off of where we're at right now, I'm at first off the line has a shot. Don Russ basketball is down to 15. We'd have to get it under 10 to drop a cereal filler. Uh, three and two baseball, I guess, got a shot. Prism Draft Picks Choice is down to 6, so that could sell out. iMac WWE is down to 7, so that could sell out, potentially. Uh, Bowman Chrome U, potentially. If Bowman Chrome U doesn't go tonight, it'll definitely go tomorrow. I mean, it's 16 left, and we've been filling those up pretty good. I just posted that yesterday, though, so. But it's already down to 16 out of 43, so that's really good. Have you guys noticed football cards are like, normally like right around this time is a good time to start buying up football cards as the, for for, uh, for when the season starts and the draft, etc. But everything's already like about, I don't know, 20, 30% higher than I thought it would be at this point. Like stuff's, people are already, people are getting smart and starting to buy stuff early. I mean, I don't know, has anybody else noticed that? I've been trying to buy some stuff, and it's just been going way higher than I've been expecting it to go. I've been missing out on a bunch of stuff. Bought a couple things a couple, like two weeks ago, but since then I haven't had much success. There's an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet called Captain George. It's already been there. It's my favorite place. Captain George's. It's my favorite seafood place out in Virginia. That's Virginia Beach, right? Take a leap. You've noticed that football has been going bonkers already. Like already football is going bonkers. Captain George's. Yeah, I love Captain George's. Yeah, we Virginia Beach is like our favorite. Oh, okay. But yeah, so we've been we've been having some pretty good luck at Virginia Beach with the kids and everything, so we like to go there. Mercedes for the twins. Green to ninety nine, pull holes, cardinals. Bo Bichette to two nine nine for the Blue Jays. Gold Lava to 75, Jackson, Holiday, and the Baltimore Orioles. Bang, let's go. Jackson, Holiday. Came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. 
Should have gave him the. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whenever I went to that WWE event, uh, uh, that Monday Night Raw, uh, at the whole, before it all started, everybody was just whoa. The whole stadium is quite funny. All right, I gotta post that bad boy up. I like that a lot. That's our first Jackson Holiday you know, and Bowman's best. Is this one called uh? Gold lava. That's what I've been saying it is, but I don't even know if that's what it is. Yeah, gold lava. Eddie oh yeah he's ready to party all right let's get back to it here sorry for the delay got to get those posted up though this can of air is about out it's making a noise there we go Torkelson. Uh, I don't know. Josh. Royce Lewis gold to 50 for the twins. I don't know. I could definitely see them doing it. I mean, it definitely take, well, I don't know. See them definitely keeping keeping note of that though, but I don't know if they're actually checking against that or what. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm not the one to answer that. Maybe somebody else has more information in the chat. Yeah, right, Austin. Seriously. Yeah, Ric Flair was at the uh, a couple years back at the Panini party. I want to say it was 20. 19 no 20 yeah, I think it was yeah 2019 because it was before COVID I'm pretty sure Ric Flair was there he came strolling in seemed like at the time half dead with some super young girl with him balling out straight up pimp well he's saying he's saying not exactly the serial number on the on the PSA slab, Scott. He's saying that like if it's 64 out of 99, you pull it out of the slab, resubmit it. They look at 64. They see that they graded 64 out of 99 a nine. That's what he's trying to get across. One big, one big, yeah.
Wow, Eddie. <laughs> uh, 3G, I don't know yet. Um, we just talked about it there for a second, but there's a couple breaks that are close, but nothing that is like 100% that we're doing. Um, IMAC first off the line is at 17. Donruss is at 15. So those are closer new releases that might go. Three and two baseball just had some more teams off that dropped it down to 15. So that one might be one that we could get going. Um, and we're fairly close on a couple of these serial number breaks. If we can get a couple more off, uh, might push it over the edge. But we have nothing that's really ready to go right this moment, but we have three or four breaks that are at the halfway point that we'll take a look at. Sorry, I can't give you a definite answer. Sometimes we can, sometimes I don't know. We filled up two of these and then figured once we were done, we'll evaluate it based off of what came off the board and whatever's lowest or whatever I think we can get filled up the fastest is the route that I'll go. Bergola for the Phillies, base autograph. Atomic. Arias Cleveland, base rookie autograph. Yeah, unfortunately, our iMac first off the line has been sitting there. Ro uh, Royce Lewis gold to 50. Yeah, unfortunately, that first off the line is sitting a little bit, but that's all right. We don't have any more hobby up there, so if you want iMac, we got to go first off the line. But, yeah, unfortunately, it's been moving a little slow, slower than I think we all would have liked, but keep chipping away. I would like to get one of those breaks under our belt tonight. It would be nice to have a couple of those uh, first off the line boxes ripped up, so... I'll have it up on the screen trying to get filled up. Get them going eventually here. Guerrero, Refractor. Suzuki, Perez for the Brewers, base. Arias for the Yankees, purple to 250. more to go
Cool, cool. All right, Josh. Well, I mean, yeah, West Virginia for sure is top dog, but um, page, if I got it for professional leagues, so, though, um, uh, Patriots for football, 100%. I like a couple other teams, but I like the Patriots. I really like Tom Brady on, on the professional, you know, say what you want, but he is the GOAT. So even whenever he went to the Bucks, I was like, all right, well. Put the Patriots jersey away. Put a Bucks jersey on. Oscar Colas for the White Sox. Refractor autograph. Um, Joe Ryan to two at ninety nine. JD Martinez. I like the. Uh, Local teams for baseball and hockey. Blaze Jordan. Finally something for Spence and the Boston Red Sox. He's been wanting something with the Red Sox. Blaze Jordan, UFO, 23 out of 50. Gold, lava. All right, all right, Spence. Like that. Nice one there, buddy. A little dusty. Nice little green one there for the TB raise to ninety nine. <laughs> you like? It? Yeah, that'll that'll be pretty good. That'll be pretty good. Leonard for the Dodgers base. Ian Lewis for the Marlins. Base autograph. Soto to 199. We got one more box to go. Can't believe it's already 1245. These Bowman's best been taking me a little while. A little, little probably. I probably could have got done with between the both of them. I probably could have shaved off 20 minutes or so. But we were getting in some good conversation there, trying to keep it entertaining. It is our already almost one Eastern, which is crazy. I felt like I honestly feel like I just went live not too long ago. Hidden Hidden Valley Ranch flavored ice cream. Ew, that is disgusting. That is sick. That is absolutely disgusting. I like ranch. Don't get me wrong. I like some ranch. But that is disgusting. One time in high school, I'm ready to puke. One time in high school, so I like mayonnaise. I, I do like mayonnaise, okay? I like mayonnaise a lot. So anytime for lunch, if there's chicken sandwich or whatever, you know, I put, it's not crazy, but, you know, two little packets or three little of them packets on there, really, you know, you're, you're kind of gushing out a little bit. I don't really like that, like that, like it like that anymore, but... I used to do that in high school, like mayo. Oh, I dip my fries in mayo. I like mayo and ketchup, but even just plain mayo too. Uh, and somebody dared me one time. They were like, I don't know, just talking about it. I was like, oh, I love mayonnaise, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I bet you, you couldn't eat a whole jar of it. You know, again, high school type shit, you know. Uh, I bet you couldn't eat a whole jar of it. Oh, yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. The next day. The kid comes in with a jar of mayonnaise. However, it's not Hellman's. Okay, it's not the good shit. It's not Duke's. Duke's is the good shit. It's Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree mayonnaise. I ate the whole thing. I almost threw up. I had to lay down for several hours. I did not feel good. They sell big in West Virginia. What? During LGBT time, Hellman's makes gayo. You're fucking with me, Eddie. You think I'm all fall for that? 
There ain't no way they make Gao. If they make a Gao, I will make sure I only eat Dukes from now on. If you guys are still eating Hellman's mayonnaise, stop it. Buy the Dukes. Dukes is way better. This has got to be fake, dude. There's no way that's fucking real. Add pride to your next BLT. I'm, dude, I'm sticking to fucking Dukes. There's no doubt about it. That has to be fake, but at the same time, I'm still sticking to Dukes. Yeah, we are. We're, we're we're running hot right now. We're, we're having a good night. Shelves are stocked. <laughs> oh, it, it, yeah, it's definitely fake, but it's pretty funny though. They don't sell Dukes in California. Why? You got to get Dukes. What what what's the big mayonnaise out there? Is it Hellman's? What what's the big mayonnaise around your guys' parts? I know some stuff. You know some some people. Some of these products may may not be a national brand. Might be a little regionalized. Dukes might be that. I thought Dukes was a little bit more national. But J Rod Refractor. Oh Dukes, it's yeah, it's the it's what what I get. I mean before I get Hellman's mayonnaise, but then once I tried Dukes, I saw it on a couple. Uh, like cooking short videos, TikToks and whatnot, and mead refractor autograph. Um, people were talking about the Dukes, so one time I had, had my wife grab some Dukes from the store whenever she was there, and we've that's what we've been getting ever since. Oh, Josh, I've never had Dukes, yeah. Not Daisy Dukes. It, it's not freaking Daisy Dukes, it's Dukes. You gotta put the Dukes on there. You gotta put the Danos on there. Anybody in here try Danos? Danos seasoning. Put a little sprinkle of Danos on there, man. It makes anything taste better, dude. Put some Danos on your eggs. Holy shit. That's the only way to make eggs. Wix, space autograph with the Cubs. Rizzo, green for the Yankees, number 99. Haven't heard of Dukes either. Look up Dukes mayonnaise. Just how you spelled it. Oh. Bradley for the Rays. Amazon Dukes is yeah, that's 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 a bit much, but you might have to just bite the bullet one time. Danos. Danos seasoning. I actually really really like it. My wife's not a fan, but I like it. So the fact that she doesn't like it means I like it even more. Is, is anybody like that with their significant other? Oh, you don't like it and I like it? I fucking love it. Blue! Spence. Spence is happy he took Boston in round number five. How about Marcelo Meyer? Blue! Where's it at? 130 out of 150. This is the last case that we're running for today or today and tomorrow. I do have more that I'll be ready to break some more next week, but no more today. And then I already got too much stuff out on the website that I think that we could even get through for tomorrow so I don't want to add more to it but I do have more that I plan on breaking uh, low to 199 raise and that's going to do it seems like a standard marriage yeah
miso and honey on your hot dog? Dude, no, that's weird. Best thing on a hot dog? I'll tell you two things, okay? The first, okay, I'm not a mustard dog guy. I'm sorry. I'll do it. I'm fine with it. I love mustard, but I'm not. But, thanks, Quentin. You got to do the Heinz ketchup and the Duke's mayonnaise on a hot dog. That's one. That's your standard. Now, this next one is specialty. You're not going to be able to do it very often. You're only going to be able to do it on pretty much like a cookout. Okay, so cookout, we have people over. My wife likes to make buffalo chicken dip. She makes it homemade. Homemade buffalo chicken dip. None of this, not, I mean everything. And it is so good. You take that freaking buffalo chicken dip and you put that on a hot dog, your brain will explode. I'm telling you, do it sometime this summer. You're grilling some hot dogs. Wife got some buffalo chicken dip out. Put some of that on a hot dog. I'm telling you, you won't be able to do it very often. That's what I'm saying. You, ha you have to... You have to do it when you can. But it is great. But yeah, John, you definitely got to try some Dukes. It's way better than Hellman's. I thought Hellman's was like the top tier guy, but that's uh, that's they're just they're just kind of one of the they're just kind of tenured in, you know. They're already just kind of tenured in with the supermarkets and everything, but Dukes is the way to go. I'm telling you, if you've never had buffalo chicken dip on your hot dog, that is definitely the way. I know it's un it's, it's not, uh, not a traditional hot dog by any means, but you got to try it. It is good. All right, we got a recap going here, my friends. Thanks, everybody, for listening to me talk while we break a Bowman's best case for the last hour. It only should have took 35 minutes. At least I was having some fun. Hopefully you guys were having some fun. Talking about mayonnaise, you know. Ever heard of Q-Pie Mayo? I've never heard of that. Also, another thing you guys gotta try that I know a lot of people have never, ever, ever tried. And it is a little bit because Heinz is a Pittsburgh company, but if you've never tried Heinz 57 sauce, okay, Heinz 57, you use it on chicken, dip some chicken in there, your steak, I like to dip instead of like a steak sauce, you go Heinz 57, I really love it with pork chops, take a hard boiled egg, Heinz 57 on there, pretty much anything, any protein, you put this Heinz 57, it, it tastes like it's like a, it's kind of like a, it's a, it's a tomato and vinegar based sauce. So it's kind of like ketchup with more vinegar in it. I, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it's really good. If you've never had Heinz 57 sauce, you got to try it. It's a hot dog wrapped in bacon, deep fried, pulled pork, barbecue, and coleslaw. Yeah, that is absolutely crazy, but that definitely, that that would be good. That would be awesome. That's one thing that we kind of lack around here is a really good barbecue place. Maybe I just don't know about the good one that's around here, but. Sour ketchup? Kind of, kind of sour ketchup. You've had, you've had, you've had it? Heinz 57? I'm a, I'm a big Heinz 57 person. I like it. I like it a lot. Blaze Jordan. I'm a big sauce person. I, I I like dipping anything in sauce. Drizzle some sauce on it. Dip it in some sauce. I'm a sauce person. Yeah, Heinz 57. Like I said, it's good. good. Dip your pork chops in there. It's, it's That's my favorite thing to use it on as pork chops because like what other kind of sauce you dip in your pork chop man oh yeah I've had Snyder's chips I'm not a huge Snyder chip fan though but Snyder's chips is a big around here massive I'm not a big Snyder chip fan though 
Never have been. Yeah, it's like A1, but it's not. <laughs> Jackson Holiday Gold Lava. Guys, that was Bowman's best case break number five. That was a pretty good one. Having some fun. Thank you.